Hey, what's up guys, it's Dan here from the Crystal Chaos TCG and today um, we are back at it again with another speed art video and this speed art video is actually a little bit different than all the other previous um, speed art videos as it is uh, themed around Halloween because the day that this video is uploaded, if you're not watching it on the day it's uploaded, um, is Halloween. So I wanted to theme a speed art video around it. So we got some Noctis creatures and even one non Noctis creature, but it is still kind of spooky, you could say. But let's get into the video, shall we? So this first creature that you have been watching me sketch out um, is a Noctis creature. And it is based off of this um, pun I came up with. And I don't even know how good of a pun it is. You let me know. But try and guess what you think the pun is. And the clues are that it is a bowl of soup and it's supposed to be haunted. So those are your clues. <laughs> Alright, we'll give you a couple seconds. So three, two, one. Alright, so this guy's name is Soup Key. I know, I know, it's a really bad pun, it's not even a good at being a pun, but basically it's this bowl of soup that is spooky, so I just combined the two words together, so that's where I got the inspiration from this creature, um, so he's, um, Soupki is a Noctis creature, he's not the most powerful Noctis creature, but, um, he's, like, a three-shard Noctis creature, he's actually decent for a three-shard creature, um, which you'll see when I show you the card with his stats, but he's basically this bowl of soup that is haunted and possessed by this ghost, which makes him spooky, which is where he gets his name Soupki from. Again, I'm sorry for the terrible pun. Um, you can dislike the video if you really want to, but um, yeah, that is Soupki. Alright, so on to the next creature. This next creature is also a Noctis creature, um, but he's a little bit more powerful than Suki is. Um, and his name is also kind of a pun, but not really. Um, his name is Phantom, and he's basically a phantom that is forced to haunt the tombstones of his fellow dead creatures. As you can see, um, I'm trying to make it look like he's sort of hiding or he's trapped behind the tombstone and he's haunting it and you can see the terrible RIP symbol in it. I changed that later, don't worry. And I also changed his facial expression because um, he's not really supposed to be happy um, or evil, sort of. He's more like depressed because um, that's kind of what phantoms are. They're forced to haunt things. Um, so phantom, he's forced to haunt um, the, this dead creature um, in this case and that also is why he has the ball and chain and the chains coming off of his wrists because he's like basically um, chained down to it and he's forced to be there he doesn't want to but as you can see as you'll see later um, this kind of ties into uh, his ability uh, right now though, um, I just fixed the RIP symbol to something that looks a lot better, it's more fancy, and I added some, like, decorations, I guess, to the, um, tombstone just to make it a little less boring. Right now I'm going into the fine liner, which I do on all of, um, my, uh, drawings, and then I rub it out afterwards, um, but let's get into the ability that I was talking about earlier. So... Uh, Phantom's ability reads, when one of your played creatures dies, move this creature to that creature's creature area, and this creature gains 10 power for every shard that creature costs. Um, it is quite confusing, but once you uh, realize what it actually means, then it becomes a lot easier to understand. So basically, when one of your creatures, your played creatures dies, you must um, move Phantom to where that creature was, um, his creature area, which is basically supposed to represent him going to the tomb 
of it and to haunt it and since he's haunting it he gets a little bit back from the creature that he's haunting so that's why he gets 10 power for every shard that that creature costs so i think it's a pretty interesting ability and it's actually pretty powerful too since this is used multiple times but it can also be played quite strategically or it could mess you up if you're not thinking right um, if you want it to be in um, a creature area that has deal deals more damage to your opponent's crystal or it might move it to something that deals less damage so it depends really on how you play but it is pretty it is a pretty good ability um, if you play it right So that is fun too. So the final creature or artwork I am going to be doing today in the speed art um, is actually kind of a remake of um, a card in set one. And if you, I'll let you try and guess um, what that is. So I won't reveal quite yet what creature it's supposed to be um kind of a remake of but um it's a, a based around this new archetype in set two which here's another clue towards the creature which is in the vita crystal and it's called the dark archetype the dark archetype is based around this one resource card um which is the dark woods and that is also from set one and if you remember, by using the Dark Woods, you can attach any Vita creature to that resource card. Then it must stay there for one turn, and when it returns back to its creature area, it gains 30 health. So the Dark Archetype takes some Vita creatures and creates dark versions or eviler versions of them. And if you can't tell already, the speed art that I'm doing for this creature is Dark Pumpkin. And all dark creatures pretty much have the same ability, so I will just read Dark Pumpkin's ability and I'll pretty much self explain um, what the dark archetype is about. So, Dark Pumpkin's ability reads If Pumpkin is attached to a resource card, you may kill that creature, and this creature can be free played. When this creature is free played, it gains 100 power. When this creature is attached to a resource card, it gains 30 power when it was returned to its creature area. This is meant for you to really attach Pumpkin to the Dark Woods, kill Pumpkin, and then you can free play Dark Pumpkin, which on its own is pretty good because Dark Pumpkin is a 7 shard creature with pretty, well, I mean, okay stats. but. When you free play him, he gains an extra 100 power, which is really, really good. And then he also, when you use him on the Dark Woods, he also gains 30 power instead of just 30 health. So his ability is really, really good. But that is Dark Pumpkin. All right, guys, um, I hope you've enjoyed the speed art video for Soupkey, Phantom and Dark Pumpkin. Um, let me know in the comment section down below which creature is your favorite that I drew today. Um, my favorite is probably Dark Pumpkin just because um, he's such a powerful creature and he his ability is really really amazing and I just like the idea of him. Um, I think he looks the best also but let me know what you guys think. Also happy Halloween. Um, I tried to do a spooky Halloween themed um, speed art for you guys so I could upload it on Halloween if you're watching this not on Halloween um, this should be uploaded on Halloween so that's why it's all spooky themed but thank you guys again for watching and have a great day bye